Hi guys, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new world overview. Today we are going to be doing a world overview of the world winter wonderland because it is December so why not be festive? Um, this world, it is honestly, it's all Christmas like decor and everything. I'm just going to show you guys a quick little overview so you guys can see how big the world is here. But everything in this world is like Christmas themed which I'll be showing you guys some houses. You guys can see how they're all like Christmassy and stuff. Um, there has been a world overview of this world done before, uh, Kwesi or Rochelle did it, but, uh, I figured why not hop in and check it out. I haven't watched Rochelle's video, so, you know, why not just hop in, get my own opinion on it, and go from there. So this first house here is Holiday in Stripes. Um, we'll go ahead and hop in here and check it out. Alright, so I'm just kind of letting it load up here, but it's actually really cute on the outside. I kind of like the use of, like, the white and red paneling. Kind of reminds me of, like, a candy cane. They've got some gum trees outside. Uh, and then on the inside, I'm already seeing a room that looks like a candy cane. And I actually kind of like it, but I actually, like, I like the white and red paneling. I think that looks actually really cool. I'm just going to kind of let the textures load up here a little bit um, so that we can actually see if the entire house is Christmassy or if it's just kind of like the uh, walls and such. But you guys can see like they've got like the candy cane stripes in this room over here. Um, but it doesn't look like it's overly Christmassy. Like it's Christmas colored, but it isn't like puking Christmas, I guess that would be the way that I'd word that. I honestly, I don't know how else to word it. Um, if you guys can hear the music, I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, this is the house here. It's very green, red, and white, and I actually really like it. Uh, and I really like the layout of this house as well, which, um, surprises me. Like, I'd probably change up, like, a few things, like this dining table over here. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the check pattern but like I don't mind the Christmassy like walls and such um and then we have the holiday tree here from I'm assuming the free holiday gift store but yeah that's super cute I like it um I feel like this would actually be a really good world to do like a Christmas vacation kind of thing where you're like still able to celebrate Christmas and it's not like super hot out because you're not traveling somewhere tropical but it's like still like a getaway um, this here is one of the starter homes. I remember this because when I went to place my sim down, this was one that she could afford. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and let this load up here. But it looks like from the looks of it, it's a one bed, one bath. Um, and it's more so blue themed, which is actually kind of cool. Blue kind of like a frosty cold color. And I actually think I prefer the blue. Oh, and it's got a crib. That's cute. So like a single parent or like a family and the first child that's actually really cute I like the blue I'm actually a really big fan of like the single blue um color scheme kind of thing all right let's see what other houses are around here that are intriguing to me so there's like a neighborhood over here and there's actually two over here that I like there's this one here the red velvet pepper modern and then there's another one that I'll show you guys. But, like, modern houses always catch my attention, especially in a neighborhood like this when it's the only modern house. So it's got the little snowmen around here as, like, decorations. But it is very modern. Like, this is a very modern build. Ooh, and it's got an outside, like, that's cool. Okay, let's take a look at this. It looks like it's a big, like, open concept house, which is cool. Um, they've got a hot tub in here, which is, like, a hot tub in your house. That's kind of awesome. But this reminds me of, like, somewhere that a celebrity would stay. Like, it, I don't know. It just, it, it's got, like, the, whatchamacallit there, the award from the movie thing. I can't think of what they're called. Um, and then we've got the kitchen over here, which looks like it's red and black. I like it. If you guys watched my Not So Belly Challenge, I did a red and black themed kitchen. Um, there's a big empty spot here, and then this looks like there's a urinal and a shower and a toilet, so I guess this is the bathroom. I don't know why it's separate like that, but it's kind of cool, and then they've got like a bathtub. Uh, they've got a computer desk over here, 
with some, like, I've never thought about putting cupboards above a desk. But I guess that does make sense. And then there's a gym. And then upstairs, it's very, like, candy cane and peppermint stripe kind of thing. Um, so there's one, two, two bedrooms I'm seeing so far in a bathroom. That might be it, just two in a bathroom. And then out here, they've got like a little outdoor seating area, which I'm sure that this isn't actually meant to be a fish. I'm sure it's probably meant to be like the outdoor television set from the outdoor stuff pack. I can't think of what it's called, the outdoor furniture stuff pack. Uh, it's probably meant to be that one, but um, I don't have that pack. So that was actually really cool. And then I really like the looks of this one from the map. This is Holiday Manor. Um, ooh. Okay, I like the outside of this house a lot. I never use brick in my builds because I feel like if I use too much brick, it looks overwhelming. But this looks like a really big, like, family home. Um, I'm just going to kind of let the textures load up here. And I love that every single house has at least one Christmas tree that I've looked at so far. Um, actually, I don't know if the blue starter home one did. But every other house has had a Christmas tree so far. Um, I like that the living room over here isn't actually, like, super out there and Christmas-like. And that there's, like, just little touches of Christmas everywhere, like, with the colors and not, like, super nauseating patterns. Um, it looks like they've actually got a brick floor in here. Maybe it's a tile floor that's got, like, the bricks on it. Uh, we've got a bathroom. We have an office area with a fireplace. So that's one thing about this house. It's got an awful lot of fireplaces. Um, and then if we go upstairs, we've got a pink and white bathroom. We've got a bedroom that appears to be green and white, although not all the textures have loaded up yet. We have another bedroom over here that none of the textures have loaded up yet, but the walls are, I don't know, they're very Christmassy if you ask me. Um, I kind of really want this to like load up, but uh, okay. I actually do really like this house, and then it doesn't appear to be anything in the backyard of this house, so you kind of have like freedom to do whatever you want with it sort of thing. But uh, I just really want the textures to load up. I want to see what the kitchen looks like more so than anything. Um, the kitchen actually looks more normal, though, as it's loading up more. But, uh, yeah, that house is actually really pretty. Um, all right, what else can we check out in this town? Because I am going to go ahead and hop into the actual town as well. But I just want to go ahead and check out some houses while we're in Edit Town. Uh, maybe we'll check out... Uh, I can't, that one caught my attention. Kris Kringle's shop. How is that not going to catch my attention? Alright, we're going to check that out. Kris Kringle's shop. So I don't know if this would be like a house for Santa or like if it would be all of his elves. I'm guessing it would probably be most of elves because the shop. But um, it's very red and green from what I can see so far. Yep, it's really red and green on the inside too. And I didn't expect anything else whenever you get the name Chris Kringle Shop. Um, I'm f you could probably, like, if you have the, is it the Savvy Seller mod, or the whatever it is, you could actually probably make this into a functioning, like, a toy store. Like, in your house kind of thing. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but okay, so it looks like that's the little elf's area. We've got the dining room and the kitchen. If I was in this kitchen, I would have added in the baking oven thing. I can't remember what it's called, but it, yeah, the baking oven. Um, we've got like a living room. We've got a bath. I have the hiccups, sorry. The bathroom. Um, looks like the walls are the same everywhere in here, which isn't the worst thing in the world because it's like it's not that bad to look at. Uh, we've got a very open concept bathroom. I'd probably shrink that down on size because I don't think it needs to be that big. Uh, we've got some nurseries over here by the looks of it, which is ginormous. You could definitely turn that into more than one room. Um, all of these rooms in this house are huge. Like, they're huge. What do you need a room to be that big for? And it's like, it's very open. So I feel like I'd have to add an awful lot of clutter into it. To, like, make it not look as big. 
All right, so I just went ahead and hopped into the town. So this is the one that I placed my Sims into uh, for the starter home. So it's very just nice and simple. There's a big empty hallway. Uh, there's a bathroom, but uh, there's also a downstairs by the looks of it. Um, and it's just, it's empty basement. So you can definitely turn that into like a bedroom or do whatever you want with it. But so that is the house right there. I don't know the name of that one, but it's nice and simple. I like it. All right, so we've got a gym. I'm just going to kind of look around and see what we've got in the town that we can actually go ahead and check out. All right. Um, so, yeah, there's the Winter Wonderland gym, which is kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and check that out just because I like seeing if the gyms have, like, pools or what different aspects they're bringing to the gym compared to other worlds that I've, like, played in. So, we'll go ahead and hop on in here. Now, I will say one thing about this world is that it mentions that if you want to play in another world, you have to exit your game and reload and do something else. So, I don't know what's up with that. Luckily, I'm only filming this video today. Um, I am having a little bit of issues actually opening up this gym. But, I'm only filming this. It's not like I'm going to go off and like play after this. So, I don't know what's up with that. But, I'll have it linked down below. You guys will be able to see what I'm talking about whenever I link it. But uh, it is actually a really pretty world. Okay, so they have a pool in here. Um, and then, I don't know what this is. Is this that game from Generations of Seasons? I can't think of what it's called. The game that I literally never use. It's like that lawn game. I honestly don't know the name of it because I've never used it. But that's what it looks like. See this little thing over here? It looks like... Practice throwing baton. Yeah, I don't know if that's a long game or not, because I've never used it. Uh, they've got a hot tub in here. They've got a foosball table, which is kind of weird to be at a gym. And they've got, like, a f huge kitchen, which the kitchen aspect's actually kind of cool, because then if you're, like, hungry, you can grab something. And they've got the bathrooms over here that are colored blue and pink, or white and pink, maybe. And then upstairs we have, as it loads on up here, we've got the workout equipment. So there is that. And then over here we've got some rooms with the television. So I guess you can do like the TV workouts over here. I'd probably add in some yoga mats. I've got like this mod for yoga mats that your sims can do yoga. I'd probably add that in. And then they have the trampoline outside, which is actually kind of cool. But with it being, like, winter, all, like, snow all the time, like you guys can see now, it's literally summer in my game, and there's snow on the ground. So I'd probably not use the trampoline ever. Uh, we've got a laundromat, we've got a library, the firehouse, uh, the salon. We've got a bar, which I want to check out. We have it, Santa's house. That's kind of cool, Santa's house. And it's the art museum. Um, I'm obviously going to go ahead and check that out, but for some reason my game's being kind of glitchy in this world here. Like, I can't zoom in on things if I'm in the map. So, uh, here is this here. This is the art museum, and it's meant to be Santa's house, which I think this is super cool. You could probably actually turn this into a house if you wanted. Like, even if you didn't want to have, like, the art museum, you could probably go into, like, edit town and change it into a house and place Santa in here and... Uh, all of his elves and stuff like that, or like some elves, and I think that'd be actually kind of cool. Um, I actually did a create a sim. A, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, where I actually made Santa and Mrs. Claus. So I'll link that video probably in the end cards if you guys are interested, because I had a lot of fun with that video, and I just I don't know. But I like, I'm gonna let this load up. Because it does definitely look like it could be a house. It doesn't look like an art museum to me. Um, personally, like, I'm not seeing really anything so far that screams, like, art museum. It definitely looks like it's just, like, a big, giant house. Um, there is actually a donation thing over here, which I've never seen that before. But maybe that's because I never visit the art museums and click on things. So, <laughs> that could definitely be why. Um, all right. So, everything so far, it doesn't look like it's, like,
screaming Christmas. Like, there's definitely this living room, dining room area. It looks like a gingerbread house to me. Um, if you guys look at the walls, like, see this little thing here. It looks like a gingerbread house to me. But I love the kitchen. I really like the rock uh, walls. I just wish it would load up so I could see the actual textures of everything. Um, that is one thing that this world, like, the bigger lots, it's obviously going to take longer to load up textures. And as you guys can see, this is a very big lot. So, uh, there is some empty rooms up here. I might be missing something. I don't know if I'm missing some, like, store content or missing some, um, like, stuff pack content or anything like that. I couldn't think of the word. I might be missing some content. I'm not sure. But there is a bedroom over here, which is cool. Um, and then there's a staircase here, which I don't know where this leads to. And then we've got, like, some stuff out here that's, like, some Santa. I like those Christmas trees and the little snowman things in the holiday pack. Which is actually really cool. I like that they incorporated, like, an idea of, like, Santa's house. Like, even if it is, like, the art gallery, like, it's a super cool idea. And I appreciate it a lot. But I'd probably honestly turn it into a house. Um, and then we've got the Mistletoe Manor over here, which is a bar, which I'm obviously going to go ahead and check out. Because I'm curious. I like having my sims go out every now and then and, like, go out for drinks together or do stuff like that. And I feel like if you're on vacation, like, you're going to go ahead and check out, like, the local pub. Which, for the looks of so far, is going to be this bar here, the Mistletoe Manor. So, we're just going to go ahead and let this load up. It, from the textures so far, it looks like it's meant to be designed like a gingerbread house. Um, so, on the inside... We have shuffleboard and foosball over here in one room. We've got bathrooms, which they've got the both bathroom doors here that lead into the same bathroom. So it's like a gender neutral bathroom, which is cool. Uh, we've got a hot tub outside. We have like the little office in the back there. And then we've got like a hangout fireplace area. Um, upstairs, we've got a bubble bar. I'm guessing this white thing on the floor is meant to be the dance floor. I'm guessing. And then we've got the bar. Um, looks like a basic normal bar. Which is cool, other than like the floor is obviously like more Christmassy. But yeah, so there's your bar. Just nice and simple. I like it. I like it. But I definitely think I'm like missing some content. And then they've got the other bar over here, the dance floor. And uh, some tables to sit at. There's no bubble bar on the side, but it's nice and simple. They've got a machine that I don't know what it would be um, using, like the light machine or whatever it's called. But I like it a lot. It's actually a really nice bar, and it's nice and big, and like you don't have to go up and drink. Like There's other stuff you can do. You can go play games and stuff like that. Like If you've got a sim that's like not one for drinking juice. Uh, what else? This world actually does have the film crew in it, which is actually really cool. I like whenever they've got, like, the film crew in different worlds. Uh, we've got a fishing hole. I'm trying to see what else. We've got the graveyard. There's, there's a pool under that little dome thing, and I'm tempted to check it out, but I also kind of want to leave it for you guys to go ahead and check it out yourself, which I think is what I might do. Um, there is a park here, which I don't know if this is considered the festival lot or not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know if that's the festival lot, but I'm actually going to go ahead and I think wrap this video up here so you guys can go ahead and check out this world at yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. And if you're already subscribed and want notifications when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.